Ortree Harbor is. I mean, it's this gem right. nestled on the Isle of Skye. And, um, you know, you see those photos online. Oh, yeah. Those pastel colored houses all lining the harbor tucked between those rolling hills and the cliffs. Oh, yeah. Totally idyllic. Like the perfect sunrise Instagram shot. Exactly. But those picture perfect sunrises are actually pretty rare. Really? Yeah. We're talking like 80 to 100 clear sunrise days a year. Wow. So you're really gambling if you're going there and just hoping for that. Yeah, you are. But here's the thing, that unpredictability, that's kind of what makes Portree Harbor at dawn so unique. I see, yeah. Because instead of those like fiery oranges and pinks that you might expect, you often get something completely different. You mean the fog. Exactly, yeah. Just imagine like a soft gray blanket enveloping the whole harbor. Okay. The clouds are swirling low, almost touching those boats that are bobbing gently at the pier. Wow. It creates a totally different kind of beauty. Okay, so it's less about this like visual spectacle and more about the atmosphere. Precisely. It's almost ethereal, the way the muted colors and the fog just soften everything. <laughs> it's incredibly serene. You're really making me feel like I need to get myself over there. Like you said, it sounds like you're stepping into another world. Yeah, and don't forget the sounds. Imagine like the gentle lapping of waves against the pier. Yeah. The rhythmic clinking of ropes as those fishermen prepare for their day. Seagulls calling overhead. Exactly. Oh. It's this incredibly soothing soundscape, almost hypnotic in a way. You really are painting a picture for me. I can almost hear the waves lapping against those boats. It sounds like the perfect antidote to you know our always on world mm -hmm. just taking in the sights and the sounds as the harbor slowly wakes up it's an experience that stays with you it makes you realize that sometimes those most captivating experiences aren't about those grand in your face moments sometimes it's about these quieter almost hidden pockets of beauty yeah it's amazing how even with those cruise ships arriving like the heart of the harbor seems to beat to a different drum would oh, you say yeah you mentioned fishermen, like what's their daily routine like at Portree Harbor? Well, even with Portree's like growing popularity, there's this deep sense of history and tradition that kind of permeates the harbor. Yeah. And the fishermen really embody that. Oh, so? You see them readying their boats each morning in those routines. They haven't changed much for generations. Wow. That's incredible. So <laughs> even with tourists coming and going, there's this like underlying sense of permanence. Absolutely. It's like the harbor itself is anchored to a different sense of time. I see. And honestly, I think that's part of what draws people in, you know, that connection to something bigger than ourselves, something enduring. Yeah, I could see that. This idea that strength can come from sticking to what, you know, even as the world swirls around you. Mm -hmm. Kind of inspiring, isn't it? Yeah. But it's not all perfect tranquility, right? You mentioned cruise ships. Right. And that's where the picture gets a little more uh, dot complex. Okay. Picture this. The morning mist is just starting to lift. The harbor is slowly coming alive with those like familiar sounds. Yeah. And then yeah. a giant appears on the horizon. A massive cruise ship dwarfing the village, docking just offshore. Whoa, talk about a mood ship. Right. So instead of this like peaceful, misty harbor, you've got this like towering reminder of the modern world. Yeah. What an image. It is quite a contrast. Right. And suddenly the harbor is buzzing with this totally different kind of energy. Yeah. Tender boats zipping back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. Tourists are pouring out, eager to explore the Isle of Skye. Wow. It's quite a change of pace from those fishermen we were talking about. I bet. Like hitting fast forward on that scene of tranquility you were just painting. It really is. And it makes you think about those different rhythms. Yeah. Those different ways of life all playing out in the same place. All right. You've got the age old traditions of the fishermen seemingly untouched by time. Right. And then this wave of modern tourism washing ashore. It makes you wonder how the locals feel about it. Right. I mean, we can sit here and talk about the charm of it all, mm -hmm. but you know, for them, it's their livelihood. It's their home. Right. It's kind of a mixed bag. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's important to consider that perspective. Yeah. And, you know, it is a complex issue. Some locals might see the cruise ships as disruptive. Yeah. A bit overwhelming even. But, yeah. but others might see them as like a vital part of keeping the village economically afloat. 